Picture this, a colossal gleaming spacecraft standing tall against the backdrop of that glorious sky, ready to defy gravity and soar into the great unknown. Well, these days, you don't need to imagine it a great deal. We saw scenes like this just a few weeks ago, didn't we? That's the magic of rocket flight, where we can transform our space exploration dreams from mere science fiction into a tangible reality. But hold on there, because as mesmerizing as these rocket launches are, there's one unsung hero that plays a crucial role in this celestial ballet. No matter if it's the rocket launches themselves, or nail-biting conclusions to missions re-entering the atmosphere and touching down safe and sound. Yes, we are talking weather. Okay, I know, I know, this isn't a weather channel, it's a spaceflight channel, right? Well, you might be surprised how intricately the two are linked and how SpaceX is revolutionising weather forecasting at Starbase using artificial intelligence provided by Atmo, a new AI meteorology startup that's building some of the most precise forecasts on Earth. But how and why is this so critical to the future of space exploration? Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Hey, hey, Marcus House with you here. Just think about it for a second. Imagine planning an epic journey into deep space. Your rocket, the payload, and the crew on board have spent years in development and training. Preparing to launch in just minutes, thousands of tons of repellent are loaded, and the go, no-go pole is running. Vehicle readiness, range safety, ground infrastructure, flight path analysis, weather is all clear. Okay, just rewind for a second. What was that one variable in the poll that may have been the hardest to accurately predict? You can run all the checks that you want with the rocket, payload, and the mission simply due to the mostly automated machines and controls designed into and around the vehicle. You can't, however, control the weather. Even in the final minutes of a countdown, temperamental weather patterns can throw a mission into a tailspin. All of those years of planning this mission and Mother Nature might have a few moves of her own. Meteorology is a critical element of every launch that we get to enjoy. Yes, the powerful forces of weather can make all the difference for the success or the failure of space missions. Just think of all those weather-related scrubs you've seen caused by wind, rain, fog, or lightning. Atmospheric conditions are really the cause of most launches being scrubbed. You could pretty much think of weather as being a silent gatekeeper to space, actually. From the first days of rocket launches, meteorologists have had the colossal challenge of predicting when it's safe to fly. Often, scrubs occur simply out of an abundance of caution due to the fuzziness of those predictions. As we head into the crazy future of daily and perhaps even hourly launches, we don't want fuzziness in those predictions. With SpaceX alone setting an ambitious goal of 144 missions in 2024, forecasting launch weather precisely every single day is vital. This might surprise you, but SpaceX at Starbase, among many other companies, have been utilising new revolutionary weather forecasting using artificial intelligence, and I'm incredibly thrilled to have had the opportunity to partner up with Atmo for this video to dive deeper into the evolution of this meteorology technology. Based in San Francisco, Atmo has been setting new meteorology benchmarks for governments and militaries around the world. By using massive deep learning neural networks like those found in ChatGPT, Atmo's artificial intelligence programs predict the next minute, hour, day, week, or even month of weather with 100 times the detail of prior technologies. During SpaceX's Integrated Flight Test 2 just weeks ago as an example, Atmo's weather forecasting systems were deployed at SpaceX's iconic Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. What an incredible day for weather it was too, and the Atmo crew were right there at the rocket ranch to witness that mind-blowing event. I just love these stories, a partnership that is showing how artificial intelligence even has a role to play in space exploration as we push the boundaries of what's possible. Of course, it isn't just for predicting when it's best to launch the rockets. Just think about the many events requiring a clear weather report. After all, you don't want these massive vehicles rolling down the road if huge surprise wind gusts ramp up. Likewise, you really don't want it to interrupt the essential production bay construction either. So we're about to uncover the critical role of meteorology in propelling us to the stars. Let's just wind back the clock a little way, because the genius of these new systems becomes very obvious when you see where we've come from. Weather forecasting for space launches has evolved tremendously since Sputnik first launched in 1957. That was, of course, a far cry from the high-tech field that we know today. 
Back then, forecasting involved basic tools, thermometers, barometers, and simple wind sensors. Meteorologists, in fact, relied heavily on direct observations and rudimentary calculations. These figures were fed into the first digital computers, such as the famed ENIAC and IBM 701. As we started launching astronauts into space in the 1960s, more advanced radars and supercomputers were deployed to try and crack weather forecasting. The challenge, however, remained immense. It was still a guessing game to predict conditions like winds at different altitudes, temperature variations, or the potential for lightning. Launch scrubs from unexpected weather and even weather accidents remained all too common, sometimes with extreme consequences. One of the most dramatic examples was during the Apollo 12 mission in 1969. Just 36 seconds after liftoff, the rocket was struck not just once, but twice by lightning, causing a near-catastrophic failure of the onboard electrical systems. The exhaust from Apollo's massive F1 engines became a lightning rod, attracting strikes from nearby storm clouds. The command module panel was suddenly ablaze with warning lights, more than the astronauts have ever seen in training. It was the quick thinking of a mission control ECOM officer John Aaron that saved that day with the simple but now legendary call of SCE to AUX, a switch to a backup system. He guided that crew to restore the critical telemetry data. Once in orbit, the astronauts needed to work for hours to realign the guidance system, allowing them to safely continue their lunar injection burn and land on the surface of the moon. Uh, 12, Houston, uh, can you go to poo? I do, we'll go to poo. Thank you. The Challenger disaster in 1986 was sadly a more heartbreaking example. On a cold January morning, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into its flight. Investigators later found that the unusually cold temperature at the time of launch, coupled with the high amount of vertical wind shear that day, caused the failure of the O-rings in the solid rocket boosters. This tragically led to the loss of seven astronauts, and that catastrophe was a deadly reminder of the importance of weather predictions for launch decisions. More recently, in May of 2020, the highly anticipated Demo-2 mission for SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, carrying, of course, the Crew Dragon capsule, was scrubbed just 17 minutes before liftoff. We are monitoring to ensure that we don't get any more lightning. That mission was set to be historic, making the first crewed flight to the International Space Station from American soil in nearly a decade. However, the weather had other plans. On that day, conditions at the Kennedy Space Center were less than ideal, with an approaching storm bringing thick clouds and a risk of lightning. Launching could have triggered a lightning strike similar to the Apollo 12 incident. SpaceX, of course, prioritizing the safety of astronauts Bob Pinkin and Doug Hurley made the difficult decision to delay that launch. The Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon were successfully launched a few days later when the weather had improved. So shifting focus back to Starbase in Boca Chica, we find a unique set of meteorological challenges. This coastal site near the volatile Gulf of Mexico is a hotbed for rapidly changing weather conditions. Here we have a blend of high humidity, gusting winds, thunderstorms, and even tropical cyclones pose not just scheduling hurdles, but real safety concerns. Boca Chica has seen temperatures soaring around record highs of around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius, while humidity peaks at 90%. Thunderstorms are common and sometimes intense, with the region experiencing an average of 43 stormy days per year. Yes, the shifting sea breezes play the most crucial role at Starbase, impacting rocket trajectories and launch windows. In fact, the Gulf is a breeding ground for tropical cyclones with historical wind records upwards of 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that is crazy. Such powerful winds can not only obviously delay launches, but also pose risk to the ground infrastructure. It is also useful to note that during a Starship launch, gusting winds at Starbase can just change direction and intensity throughout the entire trajectory. In this dynamic environment, Atmos ultra-precise AI weather forecasts become indispensable for SpaceX's ambitious missions. I was super thrilled to chat to the Chief Technology Officer of Atmo, Johan Mate, who was on hand at Boca cheek of a Starship's second integrated flight test. So thanks, Johan, for joining us here on the channel. How did Atmo and SpaceX come together for this project? And I guess, what's the main goal of it? Hey, Marco. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we've been collaborating with SpaceX, and it's been very, very exciting. We've been dramatically improving the technology of uh, weather forecasting for launches by using AI and deep neural nets. This allows us to predict the weather in a much more accurate, detailed and run the models way, way faster. 
the goal, the end goal is really one thing, which is improve the go no go decision for SpaceX. Okay, that sounds pretty groundbreaking. What sort of new level of detail are we actually talking about? Yeah, the output forecasts are about 100 times more detailed. That's the difference between a Game Boy and a 4K TV. They're also way, way faster. When it takes about a few hours for the public models to run, the Atma models can run every 18 seconds, thousands of times faster. That allows us to run it way more often. Once you've got all those forecasts, how are they communicated to SpaceX? So we share our forecasts in two ways. First, by just pushing raw data to SpaceX. The second is we've developed this app, either online on the web or on mobile devices, where you can really go and dig into the weather forecast. So it must be super powerful for SpaceX, and they were using this for the second integrated flight test, right? Absolutely. The forecast was live during the second integrated flight test at Starbase. We were very excited because we had uh, the forecast in front of our eyes. We knew from the forecast it was going to be a success on that front. And just being there, seeing the launch in front of our eyes was just such a transcendent experience. And just we're super excited to be part of the magic. Oh, for sure. And this applies not just to Starbase action, but Falcon 9 launches and whatnot. Yeah, I think it's just the beginning for AI and launch weather technology. We just uh, deployed our system at Cape Canaveral, where SpaceX also launches the Falcon lines. As we're getting more and more launch sites, we are basically making the technology better. So yeah, that is pretty astounding, isn't it? And it was awesome getting some time there with Johan to get that deep dive into Atmo's revolutionary work there at Starbase. Actually, they sent me over a bunch of exclusive footage from the lead up to that crazy launch of Booster 9 and Ship 25. The day before the launch, they were on the ground reviewing the weather sensors, checking the atmospheric models, and syncing with SpaceX's team. Every piece of data, every sensor reading was vital, feeding into that model that predicted near-perfect conditions for the upcoming launch. As dawn approached on that big day, November 18th, 2023, the excitement was off the charts. The early morning fog began to clear, unveiling the towering silhouette of the Starship. The weather, once a concern, had turned into an ally. Winds were dying down and clouds were parting, setting the stage for the short 20-minute launch window beginning at 7am local Texas time. Atmos team, just stationed there three miles away at the rocket ranch, watched with bated breath. The weather models that they had refined were now being pushed Put to the ultimate test. As the final countdown began, the Starship roared to life. Its ascent was a thing of beauty, with all engines firing smoothly, a testament to human ingenuity aided by the foresight of precise weather forecasting. The rocket's rise was spectacular, cutting through the clear skies, a solid hot staging there, and then, despite the eventual rapid unscheduled disassembly, the mission was deemed a success. It was a bold step forward, a dance of technology and nature choreographed with the insight of advanced meteorology. Now, interestingly, in a twist of fate, just hours post-launch, the wind gusts had picked right back up, reaching speeds that could have threatened the mission. This only underscores the critical timing enabled by that precise forecasting. They had indeed seized a great launch window when conditions were just right. In fact, the Atmo forecast had seen clearly the future days would have precisely those stronger wind gusts. So as we look forward to the future of integration of AI-powered space launch meteorology mixed with rocket science, this opens up some new horizons. As we push forward in the pursuit of Mars, we have learned to read the language of Earth's atmosphere, an indispensable co-pilot on this journey, especially so here at Starbase, where the power of artificial intelligence from Atmo and rocket science from SpaceX are combined to push launch meteorology to a whole new level. A special thanks again to Atmo for spending so much time with me on this topic. If you want to learn a bunch more, there are links right there below to their social platforms. You might be surprised just how beneficial this tech is to many more industries. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe if you are intrigued by the fusion of technology and space exploration. If you are still here watching, thank you. That is a bunch of time that you've given to me and I am grateful for that. You make this channel what it is. Enjoy the rest of the week and I will see you all in the next video.